About a third of diagnosed COVID-19 patients will have some type of neurologic symptoms. That can range from loss of smell to memory problems, seizures, or even strokes. We don't have solid data on how many will battle brain fog, but it's something many survivors report. It's been a month since Gary Harris tested positive for COVID-19. He's still feeling the effects. My short-term memory is, is just gone. When I'm even texting with uh, my daughter, I have to scroll up and continue to read what I already told her so that I, I know what we're even talking about. And even still today, with this interview, um, I've got I've got a, a notebook sitting right here. What causes COVID brain fog? There are likely multiple factors. We know the coronavirus can invade the brain in nearby nerves. COVID-19 can also cause inflammation of the brain. Patients with serious cases may also suffer from PTSD, especially if they were hospitalized for a long time or needed to go on a ventilator. Brain fog can be far more severe than just forgetting a word or two. With cooking, if you if you walk away from the stove, you may forget that you're making something at all. And when you add in not being able to smell, then you, you wouldn't know if, if something is burning. Gary is finding ways to cope. He keeps detailed notes close at hand and puts his medications in the middle of the floor so he'll see them and remember to take them. Post-COVID brain fog is still being studied, but experts believe younger, healthier people are more likely to eventually bounce back, while those who are older or suffered a previous brain injury, like a stroke, are more likely to experience problems long term. Patients who had more severe cases of COVID at any age may also have a higher risk of suffering permanent problems. Gary says the monoclonal antibody treatment he received because he's high risk saved his life. He hopes to persuade others to wear masks, distance themselves, and get the vaccine. It can happen to you. COVID's going to find you. Um, it found me, and I, I don't know too many people who have been more careful. I think something that gets lost in the survival rates is that many people have developed serious long-term symptoms after suffering from COVID-19. If you are suffering from brain fog or other memory issues, it's important to tell your doctor because there are steps you can take to help your brain recover.